Hello everybody and welcome to the Christmas themed episode of 2K Rebirth Presents are out, but the only thing that will be recognized is this man, the current United States Champion, the Blackheart. Tommaso Ciampa. And as he walks down to the ring, he approaches the first of two qualifying matches happening here tonight. Ciampa going up against the Prince Finn Balor to see who will be meeting either Pete Dunne or John Moxley later tonight for the uh, no, well, not later tonight, excuse me, next week on 2K Rebirth to battle for the number one contendership for the Undisputed Championship match against Karrion Cross at the Royal Rumble. Man, oh man. But first, I think Champa. Champa either wants to let us know something or he's gonna make us wait until after. I think. I think, I think he's gonna wait till after, just my opinion. But man, oh man, what a night we have planned here tonight. We have this opening contest, Tommaso Ciampa versus Finn Balor, a qualifier for the Undisputed Championship No One Contender match. Then we have Mark Sanders naming his champion. He's going to go up against at Wrestle Kingdom 15. And then we have Pete Dunne taking on John Moxley for the second qualifier for the Undisputed Championship match next week. Uh, well, for the qual for the number one contender match happening next week. But man, oh man, I've been hearing some rumblings about something in the back that's happening. I don't know what that rumbling is, but it is something. But here he is returning to the series, the Prince. The former longest reigning NXT champion, Finn Balor. Finn Balor, not looking like he's, not looking like he's entertaining any of his fans. He looks focused. He looks ready to go. But will he be able to defeat Tommaso Ciampa here tonight? We will be seeing in our opening contest. A well, man, oh man, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe Christmas is here already. I thought it was still February, but it is not. It is December 25th, and I can't believe we're only a, only really a month and a couple days from the Royal Rumble match. Really going to be crazy to see who faces Karrion Cross, but also who wins the Royal Rumble this year. Going to be a crazy night. Faster. There we go. Champa, Balor. Oh, locking up. Traditional way. Champa has him in a headlock. Oh, wrenching the arm back. Oh my God. Brutal as ever knees from Champa. Oh, takes him down. Champa acting like he's won something, but Balor no, he has knows, knows he hasn't. Taking the arm, but no, Champa. Sending him out. Oh, shot to the face. Oh, widow's bell. Widow's bell already happening to Balor. God. Too much head damage for one man to take back. Breaker, nope, gets out of it. Gets tangled in the ropes, taking Champa down. Ooh, body slam. Oh, shit, Michinoku driver. Go for the pin. One, take out. Arm drag. Oh, oh arm stomp, excuse me. Oh, Balor. Gonna be going for a arm drag. Oh, almost pulling the shoulder out of socket. Oh, oh, 
Well, I don't know what Champa is doing. Oh, maybe he's trying to lead Balor on. Yes, he is. Oh, no. Oh, oh. DDT on the outside, Matt. Sends him into the ring. Champa bringing out a chair. This is not good for Balor. Or Champa. Or anyone in this matter. Oh, facelift. Oh, God. Shake going for the power bomb. Oh, God. Just straight down. Oh, going for it again. This isn't good for Pallor. Oh! Oh, God damn it, dude. Oh, locking up. Oh, push him off. Oh, 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 dropped hold into the ropes. Oh, shot to the back of the head. Running knee lift by Champa. Oh, oh, jumping elbow. Oh, my God. What an awkward landing. One. To, oh, kick out from Balor, surprisingly, after one. Champa going outside, coming back in, bringing in the chair. The ref being very defiant. Oh, oh, inverted DDT by Balor. Oh, jawbreaker. Oh, into Project Champa. Oh, oh, God, straight down on the spine. Oh, Champa, getting, getting the referee's attention. Oh, take it down, the referee. What the hell is this, Champa? Oh, Champa catches. Oh, tries to catch Balor off guard, but no, Balor catches Champa off guard with that reversal. Oh, scrapes the eyes. Oh shit, Mitch and Oak driver Balor able to recover with such quickness. Oh, sends him and two. The corner. Oh, oh, head off. The announce table. Oh, sends him into the barricade. Oh shit, into the ground we go. <laughs> oh, Champa gonna be leading Balor. Oh, this is not good. This is not good for either man. Oh, dropped. Oh, drop kick smacks the head of Champa off the concrete. Mini coup de gras. Oh, oh no. Oh my God. That would have been horrible for Champa. Sending him into the barricade. Head off the barricade. Sending him in to the table. Oh, oh no. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, fairy tale ending. Oh, 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 oh my god. Up into the chair. Oh shit, five more seconds. Champa getting up slowly but surely. Four more seconds. Oh my god, three. Oh, what are you doing, Balor? Balor, reset the count. He wants Champa. He wants to pin Champa. Oh, running big boot. Oh, sling blade on the concrete. Jumping knee on the concrete. Oh my god. Oh, 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 taking him down on the concrete. God damn it. Oh, shot to the face. Oh, oh my god. These two are just battling it out. Mini coup de gras on the concrete. Picks him up. Oh, oh, slink play again. God damn, Balor. Oh, knee to the back. Oh, 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 no. Clothesline brings him down. Eight more seconds. Spinning back heel kick. Oh, my God. Is Balor really going to win this by, by count out? Or is he dumb enough to actually reset the count again? Champa just waiting to see. And Balor is really that stupid. Balor must just be pent up with rage or something. Champa waiting. Oh, big boot. No one there. Oh, chop block. No. 
Oh, this out way Champa does. Oh my god. These two are just gonna... Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, sent into the corner. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh my god. Blue Thunderbomb. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Balor. Sunset flip, roll up. Retard, no pins on the outside. Oh, inverted DDT smacking the head of Champa on the concrete. Down 11. Oh, oh, DDT into the concrete, god damn it. Oh, of course, Balor gonna run away, run away from the United States Champion. 15. Of course, 16. Oh, of course, Balor's gonna drag his carcass back into the ring. Champa still dumbfounded. Ready for Balor this time. Oh, oh, he was ready for that one. I'll send it to the barricade. Head off the barricade. Oh my god, sling blade. For fuck's sake, dude. Knee to the midsection of the back. Oh, sends him into the equipment box. Oh no, air raid crash. Neck breaker. Sends him into the table. Oh, belly to belly. No, nope, shot to the back instead. Oh, titty chop. Oh, oh, fighting back. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, spinning back kick. 15, ladies and gentlemen. 16. Champa. Oh, oh, ho, ho. Beautiful by Champa. Oh, Project Champa. Oh, what the hell is this by Champa? Champa. Champa going to be doing something horrible to Balor. He's just waiting for Balor to wake up. Oh, sends it outside. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 no. Oh, oh god, on the edge of the steel chair. Project Champa. One, two, three. Oh, oh Tommaso Champa wins himself the qualifier. And that's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. As you could see, Balor was oh so focused on dealing damage to Tommaso Ciampa. He, he kept reversing all his moves out in the crowd. But what did that lead to? It led to him making the hugest mistake of them all. Having Ciampa, a or having Ciampa follow him to the ring. Ciampa sliding in there as the prince was showing off his ways. Tommaso Ciampa hitting Balor with a Project Champa. Then the wi widow's bell on the chair, and then the fairy tale ending to end it all. And uh, Champa just gonna teach Balor, the prince, a lesson. Oh God! Oh, turn him over. Oh, turn him over once more. And get the chair. Oh my god, just going to town on him. Oh, just pulling him away. Okay. 
Oh, Champa, come on, dude. You have done enough. You have done enough. No! Oh, my God. Just snapped it right there and then. Oh, fairy tale. Ending on the chair. Oh, my God. The black heart knows no bounds. Just showing up, Balor. Showing how smart, how more, how more strategical he is. Will the Blackheart be able to defeat either Pete Dunne or John Moxley? Or was this all the energy that Tommaso had? We will be seeing next week when he takes on either John Moxley or Pete Dunne. But as for now, we move on to our next segment, ladies and gentlemen. And that is... Mark Sanders naming his contender, his champion for Wrestle Kingdom. Who will it be? We can only see here on 2K Reaver. There we go. Mark Sanders coming down to the ring, also known as the machine Mark Sanders. Mark Sanders looking focused, looking ready for whatever challenges await him in just a couple weeks at Wrestle Kingdom 15. And God, it has got my blood bubbling to hear who he will be taking on. In my honest opinion, I think he's gonna go after Karrion Cross because he wants to be known as the best. And the only way he can do that right now is take down one of the utmost dominant people here in this series. But until then, let's hear him out and hear what he has to say. Oh my god. Not even letting Mark Sanders get to the person he wants to face at Wrestle Kingdom. It's John Cena. The champ is here. And it looks like he's got some words for Mark Sanders. What are those words? Well, we'll be hearing them out here in just a few moments, but holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, what a moment! Main event time, ladies and gentlemen, in this Winter Wonder Slam Special. But first, before we get to the main event, some huge news just happened. John Cena will be facing Mark Sanders in the main event of... Sorry, just punch my microphone. In the main event of next week's show, if John Cena is successful in defeating Mark Sanders, it'll be a triple threat for whatever championship Mark Sanders chooses. Or, well, I mean, yeah, because he didn't get to utter it out here tonight against John Cena. So whatever championship Mark Sanders is going for, it'll be a triple threat if John Cena wins next week's contest. But if Mark Sanders wins, then John Cena will go bye-bye. But that's the question of the day. Will he be able to defeat John Cena? We will be seeing. But until then, we have this match to look forward to. Yeah, Bruce, I'll wait. Pete, done. Going one on one with the unsanctioned one 
John Moxley in a undisputed championship no one contender qualifier. Will John Moxley be able to bring everything he's got to be done and break the birds away down? Or will a fresh off breaking up fresh off will a bitter bruise away bring everything he has to Moxley and fuel his venture to gain no more gain single success again we will be seeing oh yes we will but and going off Pete Dunne's recent activities he recently broke up with his tag team partner Matt Riddle all because they haven't been successful at all in the tag team division with each try for the championships they have failed but man you know in a tag team you gotta trust your partner you gotta trust your partner no matter what no matter what oh my god Mo oh Moxley slamming him down I guess I just got to him oh god vicious shot oh caught by Moxley oh whoa duck that clothesline but you know just in the tag team space gotta trust your partner for every loss for every win gotta trust your partner not get bitter just because you want single success we have seen actions like that with Kenny Omega and the Bullet Club he just got sick of Balor and AJ Styles and eliminated them from the Royal Rumble wasn't successful in winning the Rumble though that's the thing because AJ Styles saved the day he eliminated Omega and no one won the Rumble so that was good on I mean that 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 just proved you know AJ didn't care neither did Balor at that point oh man oh man I hope things can improve for Pete Dunn in the future Singles or tag team wise. Off oh, shot to the back. Oh, sends them off. Pulls them back. Backbreaker. From the bruise weight. Dragging them. Stomping on the arm. Oh, Pete Dunn. Oh, no. He's going to be snapping that arm out of place. Oh, Pete Dunn. Moonsault. Beautiful. On the John Moxley going for the pin. Will this be enough? One to oh no kick out. Oh dis oh kick to the gut. Oh ooh ooh that was a rough impact with the clothes on just catching him with his entire forearm. John Moxley going for something. What is he going for, ladies and gentlemen? Oh drop kick nope dropped dead by Pete Dunn. Oh no, the quad stomp for John Moxley. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, delivered to on the outside. Oh now, where's Pete Dunn going? Pete Dunn going outside. Um, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, sending John Moxley up the ramp into the invisible wall. Oh, shot to the gut. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Oh, 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 on the concrete. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh shit. Leg trapped. German suplex. Picks him up. Oh shit. X plex on the concrete floor. Oh, oh no. Oh, what? Oh, nothing. Oh, dropped. Oh, the Pete Dunn. Oh, sends him down. I think Pete Dunn had something sick and sinister in his mind. Sending up John Moxley. Oh, 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 kicked off into the fence. Count of 12. Oh, sends Pete Dunn down. Oh, John Moxley jumping over Pete Dunn. Oh, shot to the gut. Oh, oh, misses the shot. Oh, Pete Dunn getting in there. Oh, going, going around. 
Oh, oh, oh no, got up. Oh, shit, running, sit up, arrow. Oh, rope break, the rope break saves the day for the bruiser weight. Oh my god, but different placement would have told a different story, probably. God damn, the strength of John Moxley. Oh, trying to pull the stump out of Pete Dunn's leg. Oh, fisherman. Fisherman by John Moxley. One, two. Oh, kick out from Pete Dunn. God damn. Oh, shot to the face. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> the bitter end. One. Oh. Oh, oh. No. You are not going to pin the bruiser weight with his own move. Uh-uh. Moxie going for the death right now. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. The bruiser weight is going to be bringing it to John Moxley. Sending him outside. This is not good for John Moxley. Sending him into the barricade. Oh god. Oh, oh. Spearing him into the into the wall. I'm trying to turn him over, but no Pete Oh, John Moxley's still going at it. Oh shot two. He face oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Better end. Oh, oh, oh god damn it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. John Moxley kicking him in the face to keep him away. Sending him down. 13 more seconds, ladies and gentlemen. I know. Like, oh, God. Oh, 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 what a rough clothesline a combination. Oh, Pete Dunn just hurrying on Moxley. Sending him up the way. Oh, this is not good for Moxley. Oh no. With that. No. No. Ho oh, oh, ho on with the quad stop on the concrete. Oh ho oh, oh, my god. Five more seconds yelling at Moxley to get back to the ring. The bruise away. Said three more seconds. Oh shit. Oh, oh no. Oh, shot to the face. Hurricane Rana. Oh, oh, beautiful. Turn off. Oh, oh, Moxie. Gonna take advantage. Oh, to close lines him and takes him down. Oh, oh, ducked under. Oh, set off. Moxley. Oh, 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 going on to come back. Oh, running Bulldog to Pete Dunn. Picks him up. Oh, oh, kids find him. Oh, titty chop. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Moxley has him. Oh, 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 straight jacket slam. One. Two. Oh, kick out from B. Dunn. Oh, kick to the back. Vicious kick to the back. Drags him. Oh, stomp to the midsection. Oh, kick to the titty. Sends him down. Oh, oh, elbow to the face ain't looking pretty. Ooh. What the hell? Oh, Fisherman again! No hook this time. Moxley. Okay. Oh, oh. Piton sweeps him up. Oh, shit. Piton. Piton, Piton. X Flex! Oh, 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 will this be it for the. Purveyor of violence. Better end. Oh, oh, trying to get up. Oh, but no, knee to the face. Oh, John Moxley going for the death rider. Oh, 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 no. Oh, shot to the back. 
Oh. Oh, oh, crossbody. Oh, God, just slamming him. Oh, Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn. Axplex. Oh, 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 takes John Moxley down. Oh, God, these. The pain within John Moxley's back is the downfall. One, two. Oh, 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 John Moxley kicks out. Oh, Pete Dunn does not like that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, one more for the road. Oh, second better end. One, two, three. And Pete. Done, reign supreme, and we'll be meeting Tommaso Ciampa next week on Rebirth. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Clearly sought after win for Moxley. That was not obtainable due to the bitterness and the brutalness of the Bruiser away. I mean, look at this bitter end on the concrete floor, plus a quad stomp, and plus two bitter ends to add on top. Will the Bruiser away be successful, or will the Blackheart be hard set on getting Goldie back? We will be seeing, but until then, enjoy your holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, and Merry Kwanzaa-mas if you celebrate everything. But until then, have a nice night. Have a good day. Bye-bye.